This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Brady Model 7140 Lockout Tagout Padlock. While this is branded Brady, it's actually an Abus product. You can see the Abus name on the key and again on the top of the lock body. And should there be any doubt, this is an Abus product. If we look at the bottom, you can see that the word Abus is actually spelled out in that keyway. It's a pretty clever little keyway. Abus actually makes at least two of them, the small one, which you see in front of you here, and a larger one, which is a restricted keyway option on a number of other padlocks. I decided to feature this Brady slash Abus padlock today because I recently featured this master lock, the model 410 in video number 479. And they're very, very similar locks. And I called the master lock video, the master lock paradox. And in there, I contrasted the quite good pick resistance that we find in this model 410 with the six pins, nasty keyway, and complement of security pins with the poor pick resistance found in some other master lock products that are actually designed to provide security, unlike these lotto locks. And to the same extent, that paradox is present with this Abus slash Brady product. However, less so because Abus, um, at least most of its products, are much, much better in the pick resistance category. However, certainly there are Abus products that aren't nearly as hard to pick as this lockout tagout lock. Now, it was suggested in the comments on video 479 that this six pin configuration is required by OSHA regulations. And I poured over a whole bunch of them, found lots of specs for lockout tagout padlocks, and I was unable to find anything that required six pins, security pins, any particularly uh, nasty keyways, which we find in this 410. Um, it's quite possible I just couldn't find them. So I am asking, if you are one of the people that commented on the OSHA regulations uh, being satisfied by this six pin format, please, please, please give me a link in the description below so I can check that out. In any case, what we are gonna do is pick this Brady padlock open, and then I will take it apart to show you what's inside. This lock can actually be gutted. So we're gonna use top of the keyway tension with a little tension wrench from the Peterson Flat 5 and a standard hook in 18 thousandths. Okay, one's binding, gotta click there. Two is loose, three is loose, four is loose. Five is binding, got a click and a bit of a false set, and six is loose. Back to one, nothing there. Two, giving me a little bit of feedback, getting counter rotation. Okay, got two set. Counter rotation on three, got him set. Counter rotation on four. Okay, got four set, nothing on five. Okay, six, giving us some counter rotation. And we got the lock open. Okay, so it seems like there are at least four security pins. If I had to guess, there's probably five. But let's take this apart and see exactly what's inside of here. Okay, we have our pinning tray, and this lock comes apart with a screw down the shackle hole, as many padlocks do. Let's see. There we go. Okay, let's relock this and then get the C clip off the back. Okay, now let's get the key and a follower and complete the gutting. 
let's first start by dumping these key pins out. Okay, first two are standard, so is three, four, five, and six. Okay, all standard pins. Get all these key pins arranged, then I'll pull the driver pins out for you. Okay, one is a standard pin. Now I'm expecting to find a lot of spools behind here. The only one I'm not sure about is pin number five. And five is a spool too, just that key pin was probably too long, long for it to go into play. Okay, so pretty good pinning on this Abus Brady Lockout Tagout Padlock Model 7140. Let me give you a close up of it now. Okay, as you can see, all of our key pins are standard. Then for the driver pins, we have a standard pin in slot one, and then five spools in slots two through six. Moving over to the core, you can see it's a six pin core. Nothing particularly unusual about it, no drill protection in there. And of course we have that neat little Abus keyway with the name of the company spelled in it. So. That's all I have for you on this Brady slash Abus model 7140. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.